Hey everybody, Andy Gideon here. Just thought I'd do a quick couple videos. Um, obviously flying season's pretty much uh, shot up here in Michigan. Uh, not a whole lot of uh, cold weather flyers around my area. And I'm not much for indoor season, so winter time is when I do my building. Uh, just thought I'd like to show you my latest project. If you haven't already figured it out, this is a Zeroli Panther. Uh, it's going to be turbine powered. Um, it is completely scratch built. Uh, my dad was kind enough to cut the kit out for me. So now I'm just going through all the fun of putting it together. And I've reached the stage now that's my least favorite, which is planking. Um, you can see I've already got the top of the fuselage done. Um, canopy hatch is all finished and uh, just starting to get to the bottom side now and as soon as I get that wrapped up I can uh, start working on the fin. Stab is already finished um, haven't started the wings yet figure I'd get the, get this completely done so that way I can build the wings and, and mold them right to the fuselage. Um, I was kind of debating on whether or not I was going to do any kind of build videos um, I'm kind of against them, mainly because there's so many people out there that watch build videos, and there's always those couple of viewers that have to chime in their two cents and say, "Well, I do it this way, so your way is wrong," and you know, you you don't know how to build, your plane's gonna crash, and yeah, screw that. So <laughs> I probably won't do any actual build videos. Uh, but I'm going to do some updates here and there, maybe show a couple little uh, couple things that I do, um, you know, kind of as I go type of thing. But if there's something in particular you want to see, if you want to see how something is done, or if there's any uh, questions on, you know, what I'm going to do next, what I plan on doing, anything you want to see kind of in depth, uh, just leave me a comment below. I read all my comments. I don't always answer all of them. Uh, I just don't have time. <laughs> But I, I do read all my comments, so if there's something you'd like to see, just let me know. Um, I have no problem, you know, showing everybody out there, uh, at least the way I do things. Um, I, I'm not the type of person that uh, thinks there's only one way to build. Um, there are so many different methods and techniques out there. In my opinion, it's, it's the finished product that counts. So... But anyways, I started this in August, uh, started framing up the stab, but it was still flying season and I go to a lot of the Warbird and Classic events, as you can tell by the videos I've already uploaded, um, so I didn't really have much time to build. Then uh, I think it was after uh, Air Supremacy and after the Flying Pilgrims event is when I started working on it again. Um, but unfortunately, at the Flying Pilgrims event, I crashed my Sig Bravo, had an engine quit on a low inverted pass, so, yeah, perfect timing, right? So, re repairing that was a priority over this. So, I really didn't start working on it again until probably late October. Um, but I just had so many other things going on. When there's not snow on the ground, I'm just not in the mood to build. So now that it's getting really cold and we're starting to see some snow, I'm going to get to this project uh, pretty heavily. Hopefully it'll fly this coming year, 2016. That's what I'm hoping. Not sure what I'm going to do yet for a turbine. Um, as soon as I have the, the funds saved up for a turbine, I'm going to shop around and see what I can find. Uh, Robart retracts already installed, uh, servos and all that good stuff. And those are I got plenty and if that's easy stuff to get. So the main hold up right now is the turbine and me being slow at building. Uh, that's about it. Any questions, leave me some comments. Um, if you want to see anything in particular, let me know. Take care, guys.